this is a very uh, uh, important topic because uh, we're going to see a regulation of offensive uh, research, of offensive technology under the uh, Vassanar arrangements. And uh, this regulation can set back defensive part of security by uh, uh, an appreciable amount might actually achieve unintended consequences quite contrary uh, to what its uh, stated goals uh, are. And so it's uh, incredibly important, in my opinion, to understand just what the role of offensive security is, of uh, offensive uh, research, of hacker research in particular, why it's important to keep independent researchers independent, why it's important to avoid the repeat of the so-called crypto wars, when export restrictions on cryptography possibly created the situation that we have now when we still don't have commonly usable cryptography. So we want to avoid a war on the exploration of unauthorized computation. Uh, we are deploying technology, we're depending on technology uh, much faster than we can secure technology. And in the words of uh, Dan Geer, risk is dependence. As we're increasing that dependence with smart grid, the Internet of Things, with vehicle-to-vehicle uh, -vehicle communications, which are likely to eventually get mandated, as, uh, say, electronic health records are already mandated, well, our tax surface and our risk is expanding very rapidly. Now, of course, uh, the only uh, chance that we have of shrinking that attack surface is exploring it vigorously, which again brings me to my topic of uh, offensive research, of how important it is, and how important it is that regulators, legislators, and the general community working on security understand uh, the uh, central position of such research and the fact that it needs to continue unimpeded. This is the math of security. This is the foundation of security. If we have it removed or restricted, we will be uh, building not on sand, but in fact on quicksand. Mm -hmm.